Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Recently I've been working on my Lego Art World Map Kit and I love it. It's been so much fun. I've released two videos so far, an unboxing and a build and customization because I'm not following the pattern provided with the kit. I've been customizing the ocean areas. I also asked you for suggestions as to what more I could do because I just felt there was still a bit too much black and I wanted to add more detail. And you've been great with all your suggestions. Thank you so much. So during the time lapse, I'll do a voiceover. I'll mention all the various different suggestions you've provided and I'll explain to you my thought process and my ideas and what I'm doing. So without further ado and for the love of puzzles, Let's just jump right in. You all had such amazing ideas and the one I gravitated towards was trying to do a color gradient effect throughout the map. So you see me here trying to lay out the pieces in the best kind of color gradient form that I could. Realizing that I would need a lot of these pieces, I opted for just the colors that came with the kit, which was a bit limiting. But I think in the end, I th well, I thought at the start that it would look nice and that I would have enough to do so. The pinkish color that came though, I figured, nah, that didn't really work, so I opted not to use it. Now, I started by making the color gradient effect. Some of the other ideas you all suggested were like geometric shapes, even geometric shapes with color gradient effect in them, Morse code, which inspired me to do something which you'll see a bit later on in the video as well as like a color gradient effect depicting the depthness of the water that would be cool um what are other ideas i really wanted to try to do some jigsaw puzzle pieces here you see i'm making the color gradient effect around that one little island and then i moved over towards the other side of the map and then i decided it might be fun to get up close and record some kind of ASMR effect as I'm putting the pieces in. So this is the noise that it makes. Enjoy for a little bit. That one was tricky. Did you see how long it took me to put that one in? I will admit these are nice and smooth, but it does get rough on the fingers after a while and you can see the white ones that have the stud on top and oh they are, they go flying i will admit these little dots they flew all over the place left right and center goodness me oh my i don't think this footage is sped up so this is kind of like an idea of how long it takes me to do, you know, an area. So you can see the color gradient effect. I just basically built off of those blues that I built along the earth. And then I did greens, the orange, the yellow, the tan, and then I went in reverse order. I wasn't too sure how I was feeling about all this, to be honest, but I was so far gone that I thought, okay, let's just keep going with it and see what happens. See how it turns out. So I finished, you know, working that other side and I liked how it balanced out a bit. And then I decided we needed some more ASMR Lego dot building. Yeah, looking at this, I can't tell just how much I like it or don't like it. I really would have preferred to have done like a proper rainbow effect. I like the colors though, if I would have used them to denote the depthness of the oceans and have it more in the ocean center as opposed to right up along the coastline. Mm -hmm. 
So there you go. I kept working. And yeah, I did the blues, the greens, orange, yellow, tan, and then the reverse order because I need balance. I, for some reason, I really love the blues and I just, I think I want it to incorporate more of the blues. Now, I didn't like that other edge because I felt it needed to connect all the way down to match up with the both lower corners. So I, I think I prefer the way it looks now. And then I built up around these single islands and I thought, oh, not balanced, needs something at the top. But then I looked at it and I went, nope, I don't like any of that. And so you use this gold little crowbar to pry the pieces off. It takes a long time as well and it's rough on the fingers and the pieces go flying. But I pulled them all off and then I decided let's do at the top what we've done on the sides. So I'm building up the color gradient above. So basically I feel like all the sides are kind of filled in. Now you'll notice that I was a bit finicky where I'm just building that orange part and I decided, nope, didn't like that. So I play around with the design there a few times. In the end, I like the way this way right here. I feel it's more balanced and more smooth. But now as I was doing this, I thought, oh, maybe I don't like any of this. I don't know. I was so confused. Maybe I should have just done geometric shapes or flowers. And I thought, okay, well, I'll, I'll try to do the puzzle pieces. So this is my attempt at trying to build jigsaw puzzle pieces. It did not work. <laughs> Let's just say that. Now I was using those other little packs of Lego dots and there's lots of different shapes and colors, but there was never enough pieces of one shape to do what I wanted. And so you're just seeing me fiddle with these things, lay the Lego dots, pry them off, have the Lego dots go flying. And some of the idea eventually looks kind of cute, but ooh, oh well, just have a look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think I was trying to start spelling words and I decided, no, let's not spell words. And then I did my best attempt, and that's my best attempt at like a four prong jigsaw puzzle piece. Does it look like a four prong jigsaw puzzle piece? No, it does not. <laughs> if anything, it just kind of looks maybe a bit like a flower. So I played around with that and I thought, well, if I put two side by side, it kind of looks like two connecting jigsaw puzzle pieces. But it, it, I couldn't get the effect that I really wanted. Although I think that's pretty cool and I like the colors. Of course, that's not a good placement right there. It's too close to everything else. So then I decided, well, let's keep playing and see what other kind of shapes that might look like a jigsaw puzzle piece I'll be able to build. I really liked this darker purple color, but I wanted them to be circles and there's no circles in this color. There's only like the, the quarter or the yeah, I guess the quarter pie shapes and squares that I got in the kit. Although I do like that design, I really needed the circles for what I ended up doing and there weren't any. I like these two colors next to one another, but once again, I just, hmm, it was too crowded. And I thought, oh, it's kind of nice, but I was hoping to find other colors that would complement the colors already that I've used. And unfortunately, I was just limited on shape pieces and the number of them. Basically, if you're trying to do a specific design with the Lego dots, you have to go out and buy the specific ones you want. And I wanted to try to mix it up to make more what I thought would look like Lego, like a jigsaw puzzle pieces, but they don't, they really don't. If anything, they look more flowery or just decorative, ornate designs. So, yep, those are coming off. And then I'm going to try something different. Not little gold crowbar, I tell you. Goodness, it was easy to remove the circle Lego dots, but not the square ones. So I'm looking at this and I go, you know what? No, none of this works. So I pull it all off. 
I get rid of all of it? And I thought, nah, I need to go. It's too busy. It's not in the right position. It's not the right design. It doesn't look like jigsaw puzzle pieces. Someone suggested I try to use like a pixel art program to try to design a jigsaw puzzle piece, but I couldn't find the right shapes I needed with the Lego dots that I had to make it look the way that I want it to look. It just didn't work. So all that was just removed. And then I decided, well, the Morse code idea was pretty cool, but what about Braille? I think Braille would be really cool. So I wanted to write For the Love of Puzzles in this area here. So I was trying to space it out. And at the beginning here, it's just me trying to figure out where I can space all the letters. In the end, I just wrote The Love of Puzzles because I couldn't fit it all in and I didn't want the word the just to be or I didn't want the word for just to be off at the top by itself. So right now what I'm doing, and I hope it's correct, I used a website, I believe it's called Two Blind Brothers, and they had a translator where you could enter a word phrase and it would translate to braille for you. So that bottom word that's already written is puzzles. And I'm actually going backwards because I'm trying to make sure that it all fits. And then there's the word of, now I'm working on the word love. I think I'm building the L right now. And the last word is the that I'm doing. But I thought the white was, was nice, but I wanted to add color. So I use those extra Lego dots. And unfortunately this is where I wanted the dark purple, but I didn't have enough. I don't know what I was thinking. I really tried. <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy with it. I tried to go the color gradient idea, which was suggested by quite a few of you, but I didn't have enough pieces of the dots to really make it quite colorful. I was limited by the colors that came with the kit. And in fact, those extra dots that I bought, they, there's not enough of the same shape. So for example, the braille down here, I really wanted to use the dark purpley color down there, but I specifically wanted the round shapes there wasn't any, they're, they're like square and anyway, so I didn't think that would fit well. So this is going to be a fluid display, meaning that I'll put it down, I'll pull out the dots and maybe when Wendy comes over, Paige or Hubby walks by, I'll be like, hey, let's, let's play, let's change things up. But to tell you the truth, I think I preferred it just with the white and the blue, not with all this extra stuff. I don't know. And I tried doing puzzle pieces, that didn't work. Um, I should have just done geometric shapes. I could probably, you know, in each of these sections where there's a lot more black, I could maybe do a flower or a geometric shape. And you guys had so many great ideas and I feel like I failed. <laughs> I'm not a designer, I'm not an artist. My hat's off to all of you out there who do this type of thing and to any Lego master. Anyone who is a Lego fanatic that builds and creates stuff, good on you. Oh my goodness. I probably should have just followed the pattern in the book. So leave your comments below. Try not to be too brutal, but what do you, what do you think? I mean, who knows? In the next video, you may see it look completely different. But yeah, this is what I ended up with for now. And uh, we'll keep it at least for a while and see how it goes. Because taking them off, oh my goodness, is just as hard on your fingers as pushing these ones in that have the extra stud on top. Even with that little golden crowbar and they go flying everywhere. I had dots flying. You couldn't see it on camera, but trust me, they would, they're just popping off. So just removing these will be a task and a half, I know. But it was fun. It was really fun. But I think I'm gonna look forward to going back to just regular jigsaw puzzles. And maybe perhaps for me, I should just follow the patterns provided. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!